Today, we're gonna to put a sound system in my 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. All right, let's go. We about to blow our eardrums out. I got two kicker 12s. Uh, I think they're called Comp R's. Comp R 12s on the port of the box. And the kicker 12 on the wide amp. Let's go, let's install it all. So I just opened my kit. Your kit that you give me. Power wire, ground wire, clips and stuff you might need to make connections. RCAs, these are very important. And a fuse, that's the most important thing on there. And maybe a little speaker wire too. Now step one is disconnect your battery. Now in the Grand Cherokees, the battery is underneath the passenger seat. There's a little hatch right here. You pull it up, you should see the battery. You wanna disconnect the ground wire. To move is pretty easy. Grab a pry tool or something and just pop it up. You should feel the connections break loose. Once you get it, pop it up from the back and pull it out. You can see the positive and you can see the negative. We're gonna connect our amp directly to the battery here. So first I wanna remove this negative line so I don't uh, cause any short circuits while I'm messing with the wire. Get the bolt loose enough, lift up the cable. You should be good. Let's get the amp open. Start deciding where we wanna put this at. Okay, yeah. Puts out 1204 watts, I only need a thousand, so that's good. Stop. If you have a problem, do not return to store. Shit. There we have it. I'll be honest, this is the smallest 1200 watt amp I've ever held. But that's dope. Some people, in the, I've seen in the Grand Cherokees, they like to put them on top of the battery underneath the seat. I'm good on that. I don't want people kicking up snow and stuff, and it's bound to happen. This is my 1000 watt electronics. Send this bitch up in flames. Yeah, that fits perfectly on the small split of the 60-40 split uh, seat. So most cars, these trim stuff comes up just like anything else where you just need to pry underneath it and it should lift straight up. There you go, it's that easy. Then we're gonna get this back piece off too. I can thread the wire there underneath, just tuck it, it should go. I shouldn't have to pull the whole thing up. I just run the wires across to the back. They might show here, but I mean, it's not that big a deal. What I need to do is cut through this wire. I say I'll cut, cut about right here for the first end of the fuse. So I say maybe about right here. And that's how the connection will look. Still gotta do the other side. The fuse has been ran, fuse is connected. Of course, it's not connected to the power right now, but there's enough little extra room in here. Get to tuck it down there. Have a little extra wire too. So you ain't gotta worry about everything being all crammed up. If I want to connect it, boom, right there, perfect fit. And here I'm just tucking the wire underneath anything I can get it under. So it doesn't show that much. Uh, a little bit, I, I'll get that out the way. <laughs> Now for a ground wire, I just chose one of the bolts in between the two seats. Uh, all you gotta do is pull up the bolt with a 13 millimeter uh, ratchet, scrape up the paint, put down your uh, ground wire and connect it. And you'll be fine. Now it's time to place the amp. Damn, this thing is small. That's what she said. I got enough ground wire. I'm gonna put it above this flat. So I got it mounted to the back seat. The bottom bolt to loose so that this uh seat can still let down and the flap just slides underneath the amp it's actually pretty secure and you see still got room for my power wire and my ground wire next thing up is to run my speaker uh my rca wires i'm gonna start from the back and work my way forward so now what i need to do is remove the radio and get behind it so i can splice into the wires so i can uh connect the amp signal to the radio signal and this car is really easy. You just grab from the bottom and slightly pull and the trim should begin to pop out. Not gonna lie, I feel like I was gonna break every tab, but no, that's just in there kind of firm. There's gonna be one connector in the back, quick disconnect, put that to the side. Now you have the radio to remove it. Looks like a few hex bolt screws. 
I'm not sure what size, but yeah, that's a quick removal. So some of these tabs being a real bitch to pull out. But if you pull out the big connector, you'll be fine. All you gotta do is weird, you squeeze it like that and then pull out. So once you have your line output converter and you get behind the radio, you basically need to splice the wires together. Um, I'm just gonna attach a wiring diagram. I suggest you pause the video, screenshot them, and then read the directions on your high-low converter because each one is different. But uh, needless to say, the big, um, big red wire is your power. And when you need a ground wire, if you look in the back, you should see a black bolt. Undo that bolt, strip your black wire, wrap it around the um, stud, put the black bolt back down. There you go. It's a perfect ground to give power to your um, high-low converter. Ran the remote wire right next to the uh, RCAs. You're not supposed to do that, but, you know, whatever works the easiest. So All right, I got the power in. Got the RCAs. Kind of just running through the car. <laughs> Let's hope this works and hope it cuts on. Okay, so I just unboxed the subs. I gotta get them all the way off. Look at my babies. These motherfuckers smell good. It works, it plays, but it's really, really quiet. And that's what it's supposed to be because the game is all the way down. So for the next step, you need a zero decibel test tone. I think I'll try to drop a link in the description so you can download one. And you need to also look into a power chart. I'll try to drop a link for that too, or you just look one up. But basically the equation is, uh, you wanna know how many watts you wanna do with a certain ohm. So this is rated to do 1200 at two ohms. So you would take 1200 times two and find the square root of that. And that's the voltage you wanna receive with a multimeter after you run this test tone. I'll explain it more. First thing first, disconnect your base sub. Grab your multimeter, put it in volts AC mode, and connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Also, before you start this process, make sure all your filters are wide open, your base boost at zero, unless that's where you're gonna ride with it at, and set the gain to zero, and let's get it going. Next step is turn the car on. So you need to know where your head unit clips at. This is where it sounds like shit. It, um, it's break, basically breaking up your signal because the um, head unit isn't strong enough to amplify the signal any further than the music that's playing. Now for me on this unit, um, I noticed in CarPlay, 20 sounds good, 22 is what I ride at, 24 when I want to crank some, but anything above that starts to sound like, sounds bad and also in CarPlay, it won't let it go louder. I think the system knows it's clipping. So I'm gonna set mine for a thousand watts at the 22 level, cause that's what I ride to. Gives me a little head room to turn it up some more. And since this is 1200 watt amp and I'm only gaining it down to a thousand, even if I was a little excessive, I think I'll be fine. So for the next step, you then play your uh, zero decibel sine wave. Now, thing is I'm playing it off my phone, so I won't be able to record how we, uh, how I game match this, but what you want to do, after you figure out the output you need, you're going to turn it up to the uh, to that point, and you're going to slowly turn the gain up till you hit that point and then stop immediately. Now, what you want is you actually want to disconnect these front speakers. They can't, this noise can't destroy your speaker. I'm not going to lie, I got lazy. I don't feel like busting that dash open, disconnecting those wires, running the gain, then we reconnecting it. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm letting you know the noise that's gonna come out here is unfucking bearable. Set that gain quickly and turn that shit down immediately. Cool, gain is set. Everything back together. I just cranked that shit. We gotta go for a drive, y'all. Come on. So yeah, that's pretty much that's all to it, man. Uh, 
depending on the response I get on this, I might make another video more in depth, you know, about how ordering speakers, where you should get them from, what kind you should do, all that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video as usual. If you laughed or learned something, like and subscribe, share it with your friends. But yeah, it's been real.